everybody. Welcome back. March 21st, National French Bread Day. Good one today. Uh, we're going to take our French bread and we're going to do a dessert. I thought about doing actually French bread, making French bread from scratch. Um, I researched it a lot and of course I saw the master, Julia Childs, doing her version of French bread. If you're going to do French bread, I guess she's the one that you got to watch. Um, and it was this big laborious project. Uh, lots of flour and mess and rising and two hours here and an hour there and I didn't really feel like going through that whole process today. Eventually I might. But for today what we're going to do is take some day-old French bread that we got at the supermarket. Most supermarkets now have a day-old section which is great because um, it's reduced and it's like you know you get like a two dollar loaf of bread you get for like 50 cents or something because they want to just get rid of it because it's day-old. But that's what you need is day-old. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some bread pudding today with this French bread. Uh, and we're actually going to make my favorite, a white chocolate bread pudding. I know, it's not really chocolate, but it is to me. Um, so let's get started. Here's all the stuff you need today. And we're going to make some bread pudding. We're even going to do them individually, which I've never done before. We're going to make individual portions so that way whenever you feel like a bread pudding, you just kind of heat one up for yourself. Or if you're having a dinner party and you want to give everybody one as a as a little dessert, perfect. Alrighty, we'll be right back. Okay, for today we need a cup of cream, a cup of milk, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, two eggs, a half a cup of sugar, 12 ounces of chocolate chips, they could be any variety, we're using white today, and five cups of cubed day-old French bread. Alrighty, so first thing we're going to get started, we have uh, our little double boiler thing going again. We're going to melt down our white chocolate chips because that's going to go into our custard that we're going to make uh, where we mix the whole thing together. Okay, so while that's melting down, I'm going to get started cutting up my French bread into cubes. Okay, we want to do kind of small cubes. So just because we're using small ramekins today. The little ones that I used for creme brulee gonna try and get another use out of them and make some little individual bread puddings with these, okay? So we're just gonna cut them down. Like I said, I'm gonna maybe, you know, once I cut a bunch of slices, cut it that way and then just cube it into small pieces. Alrighty, so I'm gonna do that, get that into a bowl, be right back. Alrighty, so there's our bread all cubed up for us, ready to go. Okay, I tried to do it as small as possible, but not too small. Um, so we're going to get our custard part ready, our milk chocolate, or sorry, our white chocolate. You can sub milk chocolate though. If you like milk chocolate or dark chocolate, you can do it however you want. Just change the chocolate out. I'm using white because that's my favorite. Um, I'm going to start mixing the custard now in our bowl here. So what we're going to do is take our milk, our cream, our eggs, the vanilla, and the sugar. And we're just going to mix these all together, okay? to our mixture of wet ingredients over there in the blender, we're going to add our melted white chocolate. Okay. A little at a time. I'm going to keep this up a bit. Okay. And then what we're going to do is take that wet mixture and pour it right over our bread. Okay? Because we want the bread to soak up as much of this as it can. And then that way, we've got a nice moist bread pudding. Okay? So I'm just going to stir this around. Pressing down on the bread, making sure that all of it's getting really soaked up with the liquids, okay? 
We'll let that sit a minute and then continue soaking it up while we get our ramekins ready because we got to butter those, spray those down um, and get a big pan to put them in because we're going to do the um, water bath technique like you do with a cheesecake with this. So that way the bread pudding comes out very custardy. Alrighty, be right back. All right, so there's our ramekins all buttered and ready to go. Okay, and now we're just gonna take our mixture here. I buttered eight of them. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough here for eight, um, but we'll see, because it said, you know, uh, the ramekins to you six ramekins, but they don't tell you what size ramekins or anything else. So I'm hoping that these are the size they were talking about, but if not, uh, eight will be fine. Six will be good, but eight will be better. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna I'm trying to focus on scooping the bread part out first, because then we'll take whatever liquid is left and make sure the cups are filled, so that way it's a nice solid bread pudding, you know. Okay, so let me fill these. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have enough for eight, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, actually we got seven instead of eight. Because uh, one was a little skimpy, so I just took that and made sure the other ones were nice and full. So we have seven individual white chocolate bread puddings here. It's in our water bath. It's going into our 350 oven for about 30, 35 minutes, okay? See you when they come out. This one's going to be good today. We even got some vanilla ice cream to put on this. Nice and hot. Ice cream melting all over it. Oh, man. Be back in a bit. Okay, time's up. Let's see what we got. Oh, some nice brown. Spiel. Look at that though. Look how nice they browned up on the top and everything. All right. Those are going to sit and cool for a little bit. Um, and then we're going to taste test one warm with some vanilla ice cream on it. Looks really good though. It smells great in here too. Like a bakery. All righty. Seeing a little bit for the taste test. Here we go. Okay. So there it is. Bread pudding warmed up. Ice cream, it's already melting on the top, can you see? Alrighty, let's give this a taste. First time making this particular bread pudding. I've made other bread puddings before, but let's see how this one is. White chocolate, my favorite. So let's see. This is all it's cracked up to be. Mm. All right, that's a winner for sure. If you like white chocolate, this is the one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The top, which is now the bottom because we inverted it, is nice and crispy and crunchy because that was the top that baked on the in the casserole uh, or the ramekin. And then the bottom, you can see, is where all the custard part sunk down on the bottom. So you have this delicious white chocolate custard on the bottom. This is really, really good. Now... Everybody knows I hate raisins, which is why there's no raisins in here. But those of you that like it, especially in a bread pudding, I know some people like the raisins. Feel free. Knock yourself out. But yeah, we're definitely keeping this one. Definitely make this one again. Really, really like this. Alrighty. It's national. What was the day today? Oh, it's uh, French bread day. That's what it was. I was like, it's not bread pudding day, but we made bread pudding with our French bread. Alrighty, see you next time.